Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen series. My name is Joost Oppelbaum and every Monday we post a new video about the personal top 3 pens of Penfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. If you're watching this video, you have probably discovered the fountain pen rabbit hole and you've probably noticed that the ink rabbit hole is right next to it. Adam certainly has. He has a YouTube channel where he has posted close to 900 ink reviews. So yeah, you can definitely call him an ink guy. Luckily for us, he managed to squeeze in a video to tell us about his three favorite pens and share some of his failed learning experiences with us. Go check out his top three and after that, his YouTube channel. I'd like to thank Appleboom for reaching out to me where they're doing the top three pens of pen influencers. So nobody tell them that I only do inks. They ask about what are the my favorite three pens. And I'm not going to do like my first pen and that stuff. But instead, to try and be really practical, I want to talk about the three pens I use the most. This first pen is always sitting on my desk and gets used every single day. Now, down in the comments, before I say it, put down in there where, what you think that first pen might be. I'll wait a second. My first pen is a Namiki Emperor. I begin every day by sitting down at my desk and writing for 5 to 20 minutes about my day. It's the time that I think about what kind of day I will have and what I need to remember to be a better person at the end of the day than when I started. I know that neither I nor those around me are perfect. Just watch any of my videos and you're sure to spot plenty of mistakes. When mistakes are pointed out, I remember to say thank you because they pointed out to help me improve. There are worse things in the world than someone else wanting and helping you improve. Now, for those people wondering, the ink in this pen is Pilot Hiroshizuku Kanpeki, a crowd favorite, so I decided to use it here. The second pen goes with me every single day to work. I use it throughout the day constantly, mixed in with whatever pen I'm using testing ink that day. So down in the comments, tell them what do you think is going to actually be my daily carry always inked up pen. The pen is a Pilot Custom 823, a pen I enjoy so much that I have two of them, one with a fine and one with a broad nib. This one is with the broad. Now, most days at lunchtime, I work on learning new things. A different and most recent thing I'm attempting to learn is Greg Shorthand. To practice this, I listen to podcasts and try, often unsuccessfully, to keep up. The way I see things is I'm collecting dead languages. Cursive and shorthand are both secret codes publicly available that most people can't read. At this moment, I will put the idea in your head. Is what you're actually seeing what I'm saying or am I actually writing a bunch of dirty jokes? So I'll take this moment to congratulate Appleboom on opening their new store at 5 Bloomfield Street in Boston.
the ink that I'm using is one of my favorite blue blacks, Namiki Blue Black. In this world, it's very helpful to have a pen with you at all time, which gives you a little bit of a hint of a pocket pen that I may be carrying around always with me. So take a second and make a guess down in the comments as to what do you think that pocket pen might be. I'll wait. This pen is a Pilot E95S with a medium nib. The pen writes down my best ideas that come to me at the worst times. When ideas pop in your head while sitting in the bathroom, like, should I wipe from front to back instead of side to side? Don't ask me about the side to side thing. It was inefficient and messy to say the least. Though as bad as side to size was, it was better than using mixer blades, a failed learning experience. Not really, but if a video isn't fun in some way, what good is it? The ink that I'm using is Pilot 100th Anniversary. I can't pronounce the name, it's the red. So that's it. These are my top three pens, three pens that I use every single day, even though I tend to rotate a lot of pens through my normal collection. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you'd have, don't forget to subscribe to Applebaum's channel. Thanks for watching.